Well, hello, Mom and Dad. This is Perry. We're on our way to Cagayan de Oro, and we thought we'd just stop and uh, start off our, our video by saying to all of you, and to both of you, obviously, happy anniversary. Married 60 years. The one thing I always remember is your anniversary, because it's on Halloween. I'm sure I've said that before, and you're probably going to hear it a couple more times through our little video here. I have Miss Cheryl May, and Mimi, our new girl, and of course, my wonderful, beautiful driver, Ruby Stanislaw, <laughs> the girl that keeps me in check around here. Like I said, we want to wish you a happy anniversary from the Philippines. Um, for those of you who get kind of bored and don't really want to see what we do, then you might want to walk away. For those of you who want to have a glimpse at what we do, I'm um, put together a little video of the different things we do in the different areas we do it in. So take a look. You might be interested. You might have a laugh. So, anyway, again, happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. And really wish we could have been there. But with sending you something is better than getting nothing at all. Love it. Bye-bye. Okay, a quick synopsis of what we're going to put together on this little video. Um, we've got a little bit of what we do just about every day, both at the house um, Lydia's house, uh, that is Ruby's mom and dad, Lydia and Roberto. So you'll see them. You'll see a little snippet of uh, Jade. We see him on the side of the road going driving a truck, and we see a, a small part of um, Pedro. Fucking Pedro. Yeah, we got Pedro in there as well. And uh, we saw him on the side of the road. So we'll, we'll have these guys, um, and we'll kind of identify them hopefully as we kind of edit through this. Cheryl May is going to be helping me edit this thing and put it together. So, guys, if it's not all together right, blame me. Um, anyway, as you can see, we're just driving down the road, so things are a little bit bumpy. Hey, get over it. We're in the Philippines. And um, we do have a little bit of snippets of us down in Botok, um, where Rodney and Laura went. Um, things have changed quite a bit down there. And you'll get to see what we've done and what we're doing. And uh, for those of you who are curious, you can kind of have something to laugh at. So anyway, this is us for our little lifestyle here in the Philippines. We're humble and modest. So uh, simple. Simple. Yes, we are very simple. And uh, have it put together for you. So again, happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. And uh, welcome all the rest of you guys that are visiting Mom and Dad right now. And uh, I'm really glad you guys were able to make it. I just wish I could have been there to see you all. Bye-bye. Well, Miss Cheryl May, I think you can tell us uh, something that you remember whenever you were visited by Laura and Rodney a few years back? Yes, I remember. Uh, hi, Laura and Rodney and everybody. I remember that Laura and me are remaking um, chocolate chips cookies and you guys go to the comedian and I'm not there because Tita want to let me in the house. That sucks. I know. <laughs> but it's okay. And Rodney, I remember that you saw me that I was hit in my head it was big. Oh, I remember you ran into the pole, and you hit your head on the pole, and you had a golf ball-sized knot on your head. Yeah. That I remember as well. I remember you coming <laughs> in there about that, so cool. And it's really big. It yeah. was big. Yeah, it was big. It was a big-ass knot. And that's it, and love you, Laura, and Randy, I miss you, and also everyone. Bye. Bye-bye, sweetie. Our wonderful Andy, the main man who takes care of us out here. Our backyard, 
as the rice field. Eternally displaced persons. Oh. Our lone pigeon next door. The rental. Going back to making sure everybody's doing their job. I think that's Meta. Oh, there's, oh, there's Bella now. Uh, she's the hell of our guard dog. Oh, no. Max. She's looking for something to eat. Horse next door. From the downside. Upstairs. Mimi. Say hi. Hello, Mimi. Our new addition. Just taking a shot here of Ruby's infinite Garden of Eden. This is our backyard here. Side yard, I guess. Second pump. It rains quite a bit right now, so things are a little bit uh, wet, but to be expected. Again, our side view. And there's Riss Ruby. Just taking a shot here of Ruby's infinite Garden of Eden. This is our backyard here, side yard, I guess. Second pump. It rains quite a bit right now, so things are a little bit uh, wet, but to be expected. Again, our side view. And there's Riss Ruby hiding behind the camera again, wanting me to go to see her mom. Another morning exercise. Here we are trying to get out of our spot onto the highway with my wonderful, beautiful chauffeur, Rubia Stanislao. Driving scary down highway. the scary provincial highway. Heading towards Ruby's mom and dad's. Heading down to Mundangwa. See the sign? Oh, yeah. Nice, even roads. <laughs> Believe me, these roads are a hell of a lot better than what they were when we first moved in here. Concrete is beautiful. students. Oh yeah, dogs are like Filipinos. They just stand in the road. They don't care. A provincial school? No. Cheryl May does not go there. She goes to a private school in Balingasak. Oh, speed bump. Set, or as I call Parasite, and there's Jade, that's Cheryl May's brother. Jade used to live with us, we took care of him for a couple of years, got him into school, now he's employed with Parasite people. The family's very proud of him. Oh yes, the horn. We use the horn for everything around. One of the local tools, the bolo. 
We call it the machete. Here, they use it for everything. Ah, one of Madongo's sexy bombs. Not. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, no, I know. Our local cockfighting pen. That's right. We put chickens out, they die. Okay, we're coming up to the low water crossing. Our engineer has uh, done a great job with this. Pedro. And there's Pedro, my man. What the cortina get to the belay? Cortina, as it's going anymore. Pedro's the boy just a little bit older than Cheryl May. He decided he really doesn't like school anymore. Now, up on top here, as you can see up front, is the new coal-fired power plant. They have just recently put in this last year. This is phase one. Phase two will be starting in a few months. One of the guard towers, one of many. None of this was here when Laura and Rodney were here. Okay, we're heading back towards where the pig pens used to be. Fixing to head in. The local church. Barangay Church. Barangay Church. Village. Yeah, Barangay Village, whatever. And we're fixing to show up at the house of Lydia. Oh, and you can see our old car. My mom. Oh, we're gonna get Lydia here before she even says anything. She doesn't even know where she's getting the dude. Oh, there's that sexy old fart. Oh, she's looking at me like, what in the hell is he doing? Okay, I'm gonna shut you down here. This is Bert and Lydia's bathroom. Well, not really, they got one inside, but they come out here and take showers pretty much all the time. And they're free going well. And Lydia's Garden of Eden. Like mother, like daughter. Yeah, you can tell. Everybody's got dogs. And of course, Queen Ruby. As you can see, Lydia now live right behind the new power plant. Lydia and her daughter, the two Lydias, and that is what they are. Oh, and my sexy ass truck with the big ding in it. This is how we travel around Malingasag. Look at all these fine, sexy women. Man, this is why I don't get in trouble. Look at this. This guy, man, look at that sexy bastard right there, man. Oh, hell yeah. Normal, normal travel. There we go. There we go. This is how we take our rebar home. Look at this young man there. Oh, look at this. That's a fine here. Give that boy. Storage house for rice. They dry it out there on the grass. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm standing on the back of the truck as we drive down the road. Can't do this in the States, but yeah, this is the Philippines, we can do anything. Everybody's honking because they see themselves going on TV. Breakfast. The breakfast of champions. Now we're next to come up to where we actually live. This is the rice field. Here's the home of the bald eagle, wherever the gun fuck eagle that is. Oh, our place right over there, across the rice field. And the rice field is. Where I'm like, second.
Then we'll have jump. More jump activity. Here, building is a new site. A little arcade. You're going to have multiple buildings in here. All the building is being built up. As you can see, the road has been widened. It's been an ongoing process for the last year and a half. Major pain in the ass. Once it's done, it's going to be a lot better. Oh yeah, now we're going to overtake. Why? Because this guy. Coming up to one of the new bridges. This bridge was washed out about two years ago. Nice cranes actually. T-Rex, like that. Logging truck from Surigao. You're a firm believer in using lots of rebar around here. Hello, you sexy bastard. Alright, safety first, you know it, man. You guys out here working at fucking Chanelas. Those are flip-flops for all you Americanos. Alright. There we go. Beat it. It doesn't fit, just beat it. This is the other side of the bridge. It's uh, kind of a double bank. When the water raises up around here, it fills this whole thing up. You can see the barrier on the side. The barrier helps keep the water in. And then, of course, the water washes it away. Right, now we're coming to the new road that the power plant is built. So we don't have to go over the low water crossing. The crossing I showed in the earlier video. I hear some boys over here cutting grass. There we go. Not me. I'm allergic to cutting grass. Kid baby. Normally you'd be arrested for doing this, but hey, only in the Philippines. And we're now coming up to the hello power plant. They have the barriers off here. They have a swimming Which they close in. They got a swimming pool power plant? Yeah. Oh, they do. Oh, the new, this is the new, they built all this um, uh, over the wall. Oh, new swimming pool, awesome. This is for all the employees. The new church. All built by the company here, Mitsubishi. Okay, you can see, all new housing. None of this was here whenever, um... Okay, we're gonna sit down a little bit. Filming around here, but what the hell? We're heading into Botog now. Power plant. There we go. There's a sexy boy. Those people used to live on our property. We had to move them off. They were commonly known as squatters. Oh, brand new power plant. Next to the rice fields. I know this is a little long winded. We'll probably edit some of this. Oh, yeah. 
Super chicken. This is how we get around in Bobo. Look at those haircuts, huh? Remind you of some kids we know. All around the perimeter we have guard shacks. They have guard shacks out here to protect them from the NPA. That guard shack in the back in the back back there is around that little gated community of all the people that work in the plant. More baka cows. Now, all the rough road and bam, as soon as we get over here, we have cemento again. I'm sure we'll be glad when they cement this whole thing together. Coal. Fish pan. Little kiddos. off the side. Now we're coming up to our new property here. This is our property. A couple of our guys were fixed to put a fence up. There's Toto hanging on the piece of wood. My gal's brother, little, I don't know. Here's our place here. Our new cabins we built. This is two cabins right there. All the rocks will be taken out. We're going to put a wall in. Our pavilion. Our his and her toilets and that's it, watch out, you're gonna get hit. My new Kereton. That will be a cart. Actually I built both of these. And there's Morocco. And we are now arriving. Ruby's Beach Resort. Well, here we are, Queen Ruby and Daddy Perry. Yeah. Anyway, here we are down to Bell Dog. Uh, making this for you guys and for your 60th wedding anniversary. The one anniversary that I remember. The one, Happy anniversary. The, any one I really think I remember. Birthdays, none of that shit, I don't remember anything. But on Halloween, I always know Mom and Dad got married. It's scary, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to put it all together, and hopefully it'll look halfway decent. I'll have little Miss Cheryl May do all the main producing of this video. So uh, we'll see how it all turns out. Again, happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. See you later. And Miss Ruby cooking our breakfast this morning. It's amazing what a great chef she's turned out to be. Yeah, that's right. Inside of our little domain in here. That's her. I need to say we keep this place pretty chocker block full of chairs and crap. So whenever we have a guest, here's our personal bathroom. We keep the monkeys out. Actually if you look beyond this window here and I'll go around in a second, that's where we have our male and female bathroom and shower. Make all the monkeys from the outside come out. Oh, she's still working there, so i got to be careful. Now, here are our girls, Miss Cheryl May in her finest. Let's see if I can get the light on the other side there so we can get a better shot of her. Oh, yeah. Look at that girl. Oh, my God. She is such a sweetie pie. And our new girl, raking up leaves with my carreton, my small carreton. back. As you can see our CR, we call it a comfort room. We had this added on the back back here so we can have them cut up their pigs and whatever. All of our drainage for the inside. Please keep the area clean. And of course Water jugs up on top. We pump water up there if we have water pressure, but we have a tank down here that does the same. So we have all those little amenities. Okay, here we go. We're going to go over and see our guys. Now, you can see this is our other property. 
And what we're doing now is we're clearing it. We've got it cleared. It was cleared beforehand, but we're putting up a fence around it. Keep all the undesirables out. Believe it or not, it used to be a uh, area where they used to grow things. I don't know what they grow out here. Too much sand and crap. And again, all of our lovely rocks, which are all going to be used here pretty soon. That's the next door neighbor's house on the other side of our place. We've been trying to get a hold of this asshole for a while, so we can go ahead and buy it from him. Water's coming out of his place, we can use it to, for whatever. This is our first wall we had built here. It kind of separates the property. Even though our property actually goes over about three meters into his, he doesn't like to admit that. We had professional surveyors come out here and fill us in with that information. Used to have a fence out here. We just had a big storm about two weeks ago come and take it out. So since we're going to build a new wall down here, which is going to go all the way down to here, I didn't see a need to go ahead and do a um, new fence. So, screw that. Now, you can get a little bit closer inside depth of what our place, our little our pavilion, if you want to call it that. We just had the cement front put on it this year. I uh, wanted something that was going to be strong, come back to big waves, and believe me, there are some big waves. I come in here late at night, looking people up. of our local fishermen's boats. I keep my boat in this place here. Now, this was built before Laura and Rodney came. This is another one of our free-flowing wells. This is where Toto, his wife, and son, his wife, kid, daughter, all of them come out here and take their baths and cook food and clean and do a little bit of everything. There's Cheryl May. Walking around with a cut-a-thon, taking the leaves and things and getting rid of them. Joaquin has got him a little baby. Grass grows very, very quickly around here. Thank God for weed eaters. And so, so. If he does all my weed eating for me. And we're on the kind of the road. Now, this road is what the wrong guy uses. Well, of course, this road is my property. So, they wanted to concrete it all up, and I wouldn't let them because we're going to be taking it over in the near future and diverting this road into the back. And again, another shot of our property here. And this has to be right here. This is Miguel's brother. He is making my fence for me right now. That's right. And as you can see, the fence is starting to go up. Now, at the end of our property out here, I'll go ahead and walk it down, is our little swamp. And this is where you can find all the tropical snakes and frogs and lizards and shit that will bite you and kill you in a miller, millisecond, I guess. I don't know. Pretty got this quick. So anyway, you got to be careful. Now, one of the things about buying this property, we had to let these buttholes cut two of my big trees down on the back side of here. Well, I wasn't too keen on the idea, but what can you do? Price I paid, it worked out for me okay. Now, I like those nuts that are kind of hanging in down there. I don't know if you see them or not. They look kind of cool. But this stuff right here, they actually build this. Um, into roofs, uh, the, you see the uh, we call them grass roofs, or what we would call them in, the, in America. Um, they're not. This is NEPA, and they take and they cut this stuff and they weave it together and they make the grass roofs. Okay. And again, here's our property, this, this angle. It's pretty nice. That's the hole we put all of our plastic and bottles and shit, and we bury it and, and come back and take it from there. And as you can see. The new power plant is. It's good to be the supervisor. 
these are my girls scooping up the leaves. Leaves are an everyday affair here. Makin, the new papa, okay? He's the man. And for the baby, no baby inside right now. And of course, the boat. The boat that we keep inside right now. We keep her all hidden away for right now. We need to get her out, get her run in so I can go ahead and sell it. Because I'm going to have to build me something smaller that I can move in and out a whole lot better. And out of that, I've already got my blank. This is going to be the bottom of this bad boy. He's going to dig it out like a canoe. And uh, believe it or not, my other one was built similar to this. I've already got a small engine and all the needed things I need to make it run. Yeah, that's right. It's going to have an engine on it. I ain't going to be paddling no shit around. I'm too over that. Barack Barack Obama. That's right. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, everybody, have happy holidays. And Mom and Dad, happy anniversary. Love you all. Bye-bye.